All right, we are going to do some thrifting today. It is half off Monday at Savers. And we want to go all around town and go to all the Savers, but there's just so much other stuff that has to get done today. So we're probably going to do Savers, and then we have to go to a couple of our antique malls to take care of some things. So today's going to be a half off day and some uh, antique mall stuff. So stick around. We'll get on the road soon. I just, I got to oil up a little this old van. This old van's burning through it because it's like 100 years old. <laughs> This spout's kind of useless. I'm not making a mess though. I bought it. I'm a sucker for the upsell at like AutoZone. Buy your oil, then this little spout setting up on the counter for a dollar right now. I'm like, I'm definitely buying that. Kind of useless though. Usually I just dump it right in. Oop, didn't waste any. No funnel. And it's done twice as fast, so spout's useless. Okay, good to know. Now, let's uh, let's go thrifting. Okay, we are at Savers first. We drove all the way across town to the one that's like furthest away, but we came here because this is where I have the greatest hope to find some musical instruments to trade in for our trading series. And uh, it's just all around pretty good. But I also need to find some Nerf guns today for our antique malls because we're like selling out of them pretty quick. But check this out before we go in. Look at this line. We're gonna be waiting a while. We're almost there. I can see the end. So close. <laughs> the lone Super Nintendo game. Interesting. A couple loose discs. Hmm. So the jeans section in the savers does pretty well for me, but usually in the men's section. But I'm over in the women's section and I found some good, cheap jeans. Like, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these. These are so beautiful. They're my favorite brand. Oh, so excited, super happy. Not a ton going on in the dishes section. I mean, unless you want some very scared rabbits. That's uh, that's about all that's going on here. Let's see. Any Pyrex? Some corningware. I like that pattern. I don't see that pattern very often. I mean, this would be like only a dollar, so I should probably get that. Well, we're going home with a dish. I've been digging through the bag toys here for a little while. And I've not really seen anything. I was hoping for some Thomas and friends, but uh, not finding a lot. Which is unfortunate, because we're here pretty early in the day compared to how we usually are. So it seemed like maybe we'd get our hands on something, but I don't know. Not a lot here. I do like this set here. This is the Corel Green Daisy. Crazy Daisy, as some people like to call it. Um, but I'm a little confused by the price. It says $12.99 down here, so I'm assuming that's for the whole set. But usually they write it at the bottom what, uh, what the set, how many pieces are in the set. I can't read any of that. What does this say? Line X, squiggle, squiggle. Okay, I don't want it that much. So the last time we were here, I scored and got some Bratz dolls, so hopefully the wall of Barbies will, uh, will give me luck two times in a row. A bunch of Monster High. Hmm. Not looking so lucky this time. Oh well, it's okay. So I'm in the men's jeans looking for things to cut and sew for um, my color block jeans. And uh, they have a ton of Levi's here and like a bunch of Wranglers and everything too. So sometimes I score. Like this one, it's a size 40. I can work with that for $1.50. I can definitely work with that. 
very, very happy today. So this is interesting. Um, these are already kind of ready to go. They like bleached them and everything to make it look cohesive, I guess, but I mean, usually whenever I do a leg chop like that, I swap these two as well. So it's like blue on this side and light blue on this side. But uh, I just go ahead and post those. <laughs> That'll work. Look at all those jeans. Score today. That's a lot of jeans. Oh, you got my jacket. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm very surprised there doesn't seem to be a line at this one. This is usually the one we wait at the longest, so we're doing all right. Half off, $25 Game Boy Color. Hmm. Nothing. This place usually does this pretty good for toys. I'm hoping it will today because there's not a lot here otherwise at least that i've seen yet normally we take a week or so off in between our half off oh my god <gasps> holy sh holy crap so listen <laughs> i was about to explain to you that we go half off monday every other week because things kind of get to where they're a little bit dry and if we wait a couple weeks come back it's usually pretty good <laughs> and we've done that but it's been pretty bad so far but that's all over because those are all Yu-Gi-Oh cards it's wild Yay! <laughs> i should have just not even talked <laughs> i was gonna start complaining about how bad it was find of the day yep find of the month maybe <laughs> maybe holy crap there's more all right we've got a bit of a dilemma because we've obviously got to get all these but also there are just tons of bags of little pet shops I'll tell you how I kind of feel about it. There's always, you buy a bag of this thing, there's always one or two that's like 15, 20 bucks. I feel like there's probably a couple in here that'll pay for it. Yeah. And the rest of them we could put in Ziploc baggies, potentially sell at our toy booth. Yeah. I don't know. This is kind of your neck of the woods here. This is your decision. There's just so many bags. Yes, there's I like know. five or six. Is this one? No, yes, there's yeah, some in that's there. that's it. And then this one's one. And then there's one. Here's one. <laughs> there's, there's two. There's another one. I what is, one. What is going on? That means there's probably more of them tucked in here and there's probably more Yu-Gi-Oh cards too. Let's look around and we'll do some math. Here's one. Girl Bakugan? <laughs> I'm not sure. Girl Bakugan. Okay. <laughs> I must say this particular Savers has been like our trading card game capital thrift store i don't know what to say it, it, every other trading card related thing i've found at the thrift store has been this particular one the time has finally come i keep this camera that we shoot on on this tripod and the leg just broke off i've had this thing for three or four years and i've used it daily so it's not the worst thing in the world check out this squirtle i usually don't buy these foamy they're like fair prizes you know they're not very high quality I still don't think I'm going to. So someone probably might buy them from the booth, but <sighs> I, don't, I don't like those low quality ones. Also, I just found this on the shelf. Um, do you recognize those? Oh yeah. One of you guys hey. sent me a keychain, made it some dice, and it's those. So I, as soon as I saw this and I was like, oh, it's from a game, I always kind of wanted the game. So now we have it, we can cool. try it out. You'll have to message me, whoever sent this, and tell me how to play. <laughs> Found something intriguing. Here is what appears to be a Spice of Life cook pot. I don't see Corningware's actual brand on it anywhere, but that's actually not surprising because a lot of companies during that time would make the same kind of pattern to make their items match the popular patterns at the time. like. For instance, I've got a set of arc jars at home and some of them have like little vegetables on it that don't look exactly the same as like Corningware, but definitely would go with it. So the handle on that one was broken. It was pretty cheap, but it was, uh, it was broken, so I won't get it. Found me a good little deal here. So we've got some petite pans for $4.99 for all five of them. So I sell these for $5 a piece. So I think that's a good little 
That's a good little deal there. We'll get that. I kinda need to replenish my corning ware. I, uh, when we opened the booth, I had a ton of it so that I could just really stock it down and now it's, it's dwindling a little bit. My better pieces are gone and um, some of my, my smaller pieces need to be replenished. So we'll go ahead and get those. These are interesting. I don't think they're supposed to stack together, but it seems like they do. So when I was growing up, um, our like Christmas movie of choice was A Christmas Story. So we watched that pretty much every year as a family. And I bring that up because of this baby. That's so funny. I mean, I don't, I'm sure that would sell in the booth. Just have to kind of do some calculations on it if it's actually worth getting because it's $2.49 now, so it means you know half off would be about one once one seventy-five. Um I'd probably sell it for five dollars, so it's really not that worth it. But it's super cool. Oh well, that worked out really, really, really well. I don't even know how to explain that. First stop, you got a bunch of jeans, so right. single most useful thing we could find. But uh, we're trying to stock our new toy booth, which we're about to go to, by the way, so stick around. Uh, we're trying to stock it with more stuff that the other booths kind of don't have. And uh, these littlest pet shops are really collectible. We sell them all the time individually. There's some special ones we sell all the time for like 20 bucks. So we'll probably go rate these bags for like the $20 ones, put them on eBay and put all the one, two, three, four, five dollar ones in our toy booth. So that's very useful. And then I got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards and I got, I got some other stuff. There's a lot to talk about later, so stick around. All right, we're here at Brass Armadillo where we have set up our newest toy booth over the last couple weeks. And uh, this will be our first time going in there after a weekend. So at our other toy booths, at our other antique malls, things are usually kind of trashed after a weekend. So uh, I'm not sure that's gonna be the case here. We don't have as much stock in this booth and it's also not quite as big as our other booths, but uh, we need to get into a new habit of checking on it after weekend so it doesn't become a wreck. So let's go check it out. All right, here we go. So pretty typical stuff. The Nerf guns have been taken down off the wall and played with. The Pez has certainly been dug through. It looks like we had to have sold some trading cards. Uh, no Beyblade sold. That's kind of a bummer, but uh, we're not really sure. We've actually been unable to check our sales reports yet because we're so new. We're not in the system. Hannah's up front checking on that now. We might actually, while we're here, be able to figure out if, we, if and what we've sold so far. So excited about that. But uh, we're all right. We're doing all right. Just going to hang the nerf back up. Check it out. You ready? Ooh. Look at those key blades. That's wild. What that was one of my favorite keys. The Oath Keeper. I have no idea what any of them are, but it's cool. It is super cool. There's Meow Meow. Yeah. Bonk. Bonk. I just want to whack you over the head with it. <laughs> the, the Kingdom Key. They've got a couple of them. So this is like the foamy one. Yeah. They've got a metal one here too, which is nice. Ooh, they got the Pumpkin King. Let's see the Pumpkin King. Yeah. With the day that we were setting up our booth, I saw somebody buying one of these. I was like, <gasps> How much is it? 50 bucks. That's pretty awesome. It's actually not bad. It's beautiful. It's super cool. I, I dig it. All right, so check this out. Uh, whenever we sell stuff at these antique malls, normally we have an email portal that we can log into and check our sales reports. And uh, But because we're so new here, we've been unable to do that. And we've only been in this uh antique mall for a few days now so we have no idea if we've sold anything we came in a little worried maybe we haven't sold nothing now mind you we've opened up five or six different booths at different times up until now and we kind of it's either been either or either we'll sell nothing for the first week because we can't quite get enough stock that people are going to get excited about buying from us or sometimes we open up and we just sell a ton like our other booth across town that first week we were in there we did like a grand or something it was nuts it was unbelievable um so we went up front today, made sure we were signed up for the email portal. Now we are, and we got our first printout of what we sold. Now, 
this is not I'm not showing this because I'm proud of it it's a lot of money but I'm actually I I actually am proud of this because I was really afraid we weren't gonna sell much at this booth but just to show you real quick what we have sold uh, we sold a whole bunch of Hot Wheels which is kind of surprising and we sold a Beyblade which I thought we hadn't but I must have brought more of them in here than I thought I did um, and then a bunch of video games it's almost entirely video games Hot Wheels and a Beyblade sweet and we made something right yeah and we got we've got about 60 bucks so far and uh, it's good as long as we don't sell nothing on the first week as long as we cover rent the first month or the first couple weeks we're usually pretty happy and it, we're definitely going to at that rate it's gonna be fine but also we'll be able to stock our booth up way 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 more before the next weekend gets here so it'll be good i'm excited about it but you know we shared our stats on yesterday's episode for another booth and i figured since i had this in my hand we could do this today so there you go happy about it you happy about it <laughs> yes <laughs> This should be the last stop of the day. We're at another one of our antique malls. We just, we're gonna check on it as well. No restocking today. Uh, we've got a lot of restocking to do before the week's over, just not today. We gotta grab something out of here and uh, just make sure our booths aren't wrecked after the weekend. We've definitely sold a couple Lego cups. That's good. You're, you can, can you tell that we're starting to like get to the bottom? A little bit. <laughs> it was mounted pretty high when we started. Uh, everything else looks pretty good. Just, just gotta make sure. I need to get some more darts in here. That's one of the biggest things I need to do. We're completely out of the blue darts. It's getting really low on both the others. And then also, we only have three torches hanging at this booth. We got room for one, two, at least three more. I can keep going uh, past the Harry Potter games if I want, but uh, I've got three set at home. We just need to come back with the screw gun. All right, guys, we're back home. It was a pretty good half off Monday, I have to say. It went pretty well, I thought. It didn't go the way I planned, but it went well. We went to the Savers all the way across town, 45 minutes away, even more sometimes if traffic is bad. And uh, I thought I was going to get there and have the earliest chance possible to find some like musical instruments because every single half off Monday we went out in the last couple months, I've come home with an instrument to trade in on our trade-in series. Uh, and so I just thought that being the savers that I usually get them from, if I get there early, it'll go well. And I got there and found nothing, but it still worked out because you found so many pairs of jeans there. Tons of jeans. It was kind of nutty. It was awesome. And then we went <laughs> to the second one and we ended up finding a whole lot of stuff that's uh, really useful to us. But we'll, we'll jump into that now and take a look at all this. Um, how many pairs of jeans did you get? Did you count them? I didn't count them, but I did get, I know, two full sets for my color blocking that I do. So that's always well, let's, let's start so with, good. Let's start with these because <laughs> these are already color blocked, aren't they? They are. So it's not what I usually do, but I'm totally <laughs> fine with them. They look great. Well, so. I was distracted by the bleaching. So when you showed them to me, I was like, okay, bleach pair of jeans. I didn't realize someone had already cut them up and sewed them. Yeah, they're a larger size than I normally would do, but... Um, I can, I'm thinking about either going ahead and taking them into a size that I would normally carry or um, just leaving them as is and just not worry about it at all. Because um, they're, like, they're like a size 16, so it's still totally fine. Well, you got a couple pairs of riders, didn't you? I did. I got two pair of riders. Are you um, going to sew these together or are you just going to sell them like this? You know, the tan ones sell really well and really fast. So they're not worth cutting? Yeah. So I've never not sold a pair, so I'll just always pick them up and... Lee jeans aren't nearly as popular as like Levi's are, so I think the part of the success of my color box is the fact that they're Levi's. Right. So we'll stick to that for now. But they have Levi's for $2.99, half awesome. off. So I was stoked. I, so. I wish we could find more of that on Half Off Monday. Uh, we get most of our jeans for our reselling and, and stuff at the bins, and that's just how it is. But like, we kind of would prefer to find them this way, you know, because two, three dollars is about what you're paying for them by weight at the Google yeah. bins, anyways. And you're working a lot less. Hard. Oops! I just <laughs> smacked you. The <laughs> um, there's a lot less work involved in buying those jeans at Savers than there is at the bins. Hundred percent. So another two ninety nine, and it was a black pair. I need all the black pair I can get. But these were my jean find of the day. Despite the already color blocked ones, those were pretty cool, but. Ooh. Some vintage Rockies are always 
such a good time. I heard you say you got a pair of Rockies, but I didn't see the, the fancy designs on these. Let me give you a, a little bit of a close-up. Rockies always have something special. That's why they're special. They're not just a pair. They're a pair of high-waisted jeans. Usually, no, almost always no pockets. Have you ever had Rockies with pockets? There are a couple, okay. but I don't usually get them because they're just not as special. They just look like normal just jeans. Because they're just basic. And this is, <laughs> as far as Rockies go, these are almost a little basic because sometimes... They're fine, but sometimes they get wild. Like there'll be jewels down the side, or there'll be slits cut out. Rockies get colors wild. Colors, yeah, they're super fun. Random colors, <laughs> so that. But but they always sell well because a lot of people like the way that these fit. So, hundred percent. That was Me pretty too. good. I wore a pair today. All right, you, awesome. you did buy a dish. I did. Um, they had a dollar ninety nine corningware dish, so I was like, that's cool. A dollar for it. yeah, a dollar for <laughs> this. Put it in your dish booth. Pretty sweet. Perfect. Okay, um, this is just a game I brought in from the car from the other day. I bought it like a week ago. Um, this is probably one of my finds of the days, finds of the day because I don't know anything about it, but it's the kind of stuff we're doing on our other channel. And I love anything that's dice related anyways. Uh, but Dice Masters, Age of Ultron, um, this will be fun. This will be fun to play with and to learn something about. Uh, couldn't believe it was there. I couldn't believe I finally ran into it because I only recognized the dice from having them on my keychain, but I knew it being a game out there, I was going to eventually run into it. So that was pretty cool. I didn't even get this one on camera either because Hannah was checking out and I was doing my last lap before we left and I found a Digimon book. I was about to swipe the card. And I was like, hey, wait a minute. Uh, one more that I don't think I got on camera, though I might have. I don't know. This is, uh, we've been doing series of videos on our second channel about McDonald's toys and stuff and uh, McDonald's and other fast food restaurant toys. And um, we've got a brand new one coming out this week, so go subscribe to that if you haven't already. But uh, I've been wanting some of these for that McDonald's shelf, for that McDonald's series. And I don't know if this one's McDonald's or not. I've never seen this before, this little guy, but obviously he's one of these. These are the ones I had when I was a kid. And they're like wind up and they do different stuff. But do you I remember these? I always wanted one of the big ones. And then I was like, I should ask for one for Christmas. And then I was like, I don't need that though. Like, <laughs> I want a real dog. <laughs> right. Well, I uh, I had a big one when I was little, and now that I've been searching for a big one, uh, just like Furbies, these are like electronic talk to each other toys, but these are the McDonald's version, so these aren't that special compared to the real ones. So if you don't know, there's a huge version of this that's robotic and talks to you and lights up and stuff. So that being said, uh, I've been wanting one of the original ones for the shelf, uh, for our game room shelf, but... I've been having trouble finding one with ears because every time I find them in the toy bags, there's no ears on them. But uh, I don't think I got a shot of this while we were at the Goodwill today. I kind of last minute threw it in the cart and ran off. Okay, so an another couple things to talk about here. I grabbed a hold of a Space Jam duck. Woo! Uh, it's pretty awesome. I will either put it in our to toy booths or I have a friend that's got some Space Jam stuff he's collecting. So we'll see if he has it and wants it maybe. But pretty old look look how derpy he is <laughs> <laughs> his eyes are just like <laughs> that was pretty cool that we were going so wild at at the at that savers today i don't know if i got clips of some of this stuff i was just like i i didn't we were like trading the camera back and forth because we only had one camera today instead of our two so there was some stuff that got missed but like it was getting missed because i was just like all right i'll take this i'll take this <laughs> there was a lot we're of that today <laughs> yeah and then there's a crab in here full labeled he has made written on his arm it was in the bag with the duck so there's that that might be my find of the day all right video games let's get those out of the way real quick need for speed rivals and a couple nonsense bow hunting games that i didn't have on the shelf so since they were both of those for five bucks i went ahead and got them and put them just to put them on the shelf uh because it's kind of as it, much nonsense i have some good wii games don't get me wrong but it's not as much my wii collection is my second biggest collection it is much nonsense is on that shelf. I still don't have most of the hunting games. Usually because I just I've just passed them up. Even even when they're super cheap at the thrift store, I just go, I'm not gonna mess with these right now. So I've kind of made the assumption that even one of these days when I've got most of the collection and I need to knock that stuff out, I can probably easily go get it. But I, I need to start getting it just to fill out that shelf. Because I need to start getting some of my bigger collections like we where uh, down to the point where I got the nonsense out of the way and we can start in our trading series going and knocking out some of the bigger hitters. So there's that. All right, let me get these Yu-Gi-Oh cards out of the way too, which actually probably are my find of the day, something I'm the most excited about. And these are, I don't know if you guys can tell, 
But if I look at a stack of cards all stacked up, I can tell when they're pretty new or pretty used. And these are pretty new. Not a lot of use going on here at all. And there's nothing on the ends or nothing that you can tell if there's any hollows or rares. I'm kind of hoping there might be some rare stuff in here. Or some hollow stuff, rather. Um, you know, there are commons that are worth a few bucks, but I want the shiny. I'm a shiny bandit. So, on our other channel, uh, in the next couple days, I'll be opening those up with some other Yu-Gi-Oh cards. If you guys remember, I bought a we bought a Yu-Gi-Oh video game, the brand new one for the Switch, at a at a GameStop the other day. There's a pack of cards in there. We're gonna open that up. We're gonna open those up, and I've got some other cards. Some of you guys have sent me recently Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. I'm gonna go through it all on an episode on our second channel. That's gonna be fun. Very, 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 very excited about that. But we've got one more thing to talk about, and Hannah knows way more about this stuff than I do. Um, you know, you guys probably wouldn't know this because of the way we talk about it, but like, I, I often will spend just as much time on dish stuff as Hannah does, and, I, and she will definitely spend as much time on toy stuff as I do. But we always, we've kind of made the mistake of, of branding what we're doing as like her dish booth and my toy booth, which is kind of a mistake because like, there's so many toys that she knows more about, and there's so many, so, so many like, things we have to do to get stuff done for our dish booth and stuff that I have to do while she does other stuff that like it's both of us doing both things all the time and this is a perfect example of this because I look at these things and I see a bunch of plastic nonsense <laughs> but Hannah has spent so much time pricing these things and stuff on eBay and whatnot she knows a lot more of than me so that being said um have you seen anything in here yet that you're at least hopeful might be worth some value? So, I mean, because we we see dollar signs just for this because you can always sell them all for a couple bucks. You know? Absolutely. We knew this was definitely worth the value. Um, the thing the thing that always surprised me about Lilith's Pet Shop is how expensive some of them can get. Um, and it's very random which ones do. It's usually like, it's for the most part, it's the ones that like, Oh, you would think that it's a commonly liked animal, like a cat, you know, like a dog. People really like those kind of things, whereas like the turtle, not really worth a lot. Right. It's not as, as desirable. You've also come into the room before and show me, hey, look at this cat. It's worth it's 35 worth, bucks and you yeah. show me one that looks just like it, but its eyes are a different color and it's worth... It's worth like three. It's worth, <laughs> a, yeah, it's worth nothing. It's just common and uncommon kind of stuff. It's a lot like Pokemon cards. I mean, it's just... People collect different versions of the same thing and they're real happy about it when they get one of the harder to get ones. So there are definitely things in here that I've never seen before, like this guy with all that, is that color. A, is like a lamb? Yeah. When I first looked at it, I thought a kid had like scribbled on it, but I see what you're saying now. There's a bunch of like bows and stuff like that. Yeah, there's two of them. Which two of them means it may not be that special, but yeah, you know. The, the thing about it is I've seen colored Lilith's Pet Shops before and I'm like, oh, that's gotta be special because it, it's got a bunch of color on it and it's not. Right. You know, it's like a newer kind of thing that they were trying and it just didn't take off very well. Um, if you've ever tried to look up these Lilith's Pet Shops, it can be so hard <laughs> yes yes it can we we've had a few times where you've gotten a whole bag done and you know we got four or five twenty dollar ones out of it and then a whole bunch of dollar ones or something and so we we sold the expensive ones individually and put the rest up on ebay for a lot made usually make a few bucks just like that but we've done that before got them all sorted out and there'd be like two left yeah and we'll both sit trying to google scan it trying to do anything we can to find it and somehow you i don't think we've ever come across one we just never found but we've yeah. come across a couple that wasted our time oh, and God. still ended up being worth five bucks and not being worth the time but as soon as you find one that doesn't show up a lot you think this is it yeah. we've made some money <laughs> <laughs> the thing that makes it so challenging is sometimes the animals just don't look they aren't what you think they are like this i'd be like oh what a nice little raccoon. Like, oh no, this is a chinchilla. Like, oh, okay. So now I have to search chinchilla. Well, tell me if you've ever seen this and or if this is a knockoff, but he's covered in felt. He's... Yes, I have seen some covered in felt. Okay, so that's so a real thing. That is a thing. Um, and the, the thing with like the real ones, the knockoffs, is a lot of times it has to do with their little little pad on their foot. It being the wrong color mm. or it not being there. Um, I've never really come across very many fake ones. But okay. I have come across a lot that just have it missing. Oh, so that, that, there's a little thing in there. I didn't even know that. And it falls out, I guess? Yeah, and I think it's a magnet. 
if I'm oh if it, I'm reading correctly. And that's like uh, that are exact oblate here, is it even? Yeah, you're right. Totally yeah. is. Yeah. Look at that acrobat skill. <laughs> Very nice. I didn't know that. We're learning things together. It's super cool. Um, they're really cute. Oh no. Yeah, yeah there's a casualty. There's a couple of here that are ripped. Like here's an exorcist kitty oh. sniffing its tail. Oh. <laughs> they're like that. Is it a squirrel? Is it a chipmunk? Who knows? You'll have to find out. <laughs> I've never seen a dragonfly before. Um, I've seen the dragonflies before. They are not worth anything. <laughs> of course. That looks more like a McDonald's toy. It's battery operated. Interesting. Yeah, strange. And there's like three different sizes of them too. There's like the regular, the, the regular sizes, and then there's like teeny, medium ones, and oh, then there's really? like teeny tiny ones. So they're, they're, but they're all really close. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so we're definitely going to, that's, that's definitely a chihuahua <laughs> though, right? Yeah. He's very derp. Um, we're definitely going to make some money here. Um, if you recall the last few days worth of episodes, we've been selling our Beyblades now in these plastic containers that are hard to break into. And our, our gut reaction is to take something like this and put them all in Ziploc bags and put little dollar stickers on them if they're, if they're not valuable. And we sell stuff like that in our antique malls all the time. Uh, but that's, you know, we're trying to beef up our security a little bit now and make things harder to steal after, you know, we got officially robbed and called by the police. Go back and watch a video from a few days before now if you're interested in hearing that kind of story. But that being said, we're looking for harder containers to put these in. So uh, that's what we'll be doing with these once we weed out the super expensive ones is uh, putting them in some new harder containers we have and selling them at one of our new antique mall booths, uh, I think. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, I think that will be about the most of those we've ever brought home at once, wouldn't you say? Yes, for sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, we the first time we ever knew anything about them, we brought home a bag that was huge. It was enough to fit about two or three times this many in, but it had a bunch of Skylanders and even like our first Amiibo we ever brought home. And then there were a bunch of these and we knew nothing about them until we brought them home that day and looked them up, what they were. And we discovered instantly that bag, actually there was more value in these little guys than there was the Amiibo and the Skylander. For sure. So it's been a huge learning curve since then. And every time we've had an opportunity to bring home a handful to resell, we have. So uh, these are definitely a be on the lookout type thing. I've de tell, please tell me you've never seen an anteater. I've never seen an anteater. <laughs> I just spotted that one. It Def can't be worth a lot. <laughs> Um, these are definitely a good eBay flip, um, if you can get them cheap enough. I even more probably would recommend them for something like an antique mall, though I hesitate to say that because small size is not usually the best thing for an antique mall, but, uh, maybe, maybe I should reserve that last bit. We'll see if they're good for an antique mall. You guys let me sell them in our antique mall, check back in a month, we'll let you know how they're going, whether or not it's a good antique mall sale, but definitely a good eBay sale for sure. Um, uh, anything else to add? I'm really excited about it. I, I'm really looking forward to seeing how they do in the antique mall. Because I know that some vendors, you know, you walk by those lock boxes and stuff. They, I've seen them in there before. Yeah, for sure. So I know that they're, there's something at least people try. Yeah, for sure. So uh, what's your find of the day? Um, I'm probably going to go with the little pet shops. Yeah. They're really cool. Well, and it's just, it's the exact kind of thing we like. Like, we get excited about coming home and watching a movie and sitting down and either pricing stuff we've been doing we've uh, if you've watched the last few days worth of episodes you'll know why but we're like really behind on sorting pokemon cards so those are going to get in line behind the pokemon cards probably yes. we'll get the pokemon cards sorted and then we'll we'll deal with those uh but yeah my find of the day is probably the Yu-Gi-Oh cards i'm just a little bit more excited about those but you guys probably know why i just want to dig through here and find out what's in there uh, but that's it, guys. You guys comment below before we go and let us know what your favorite thing that we got today. Was it the Littlest Pet Shops? Was it the Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Was it was it your boy Daffy? That's pretty exciting, really. He's pretty cool. Especially since we are, we sold him instantly at our toy booth. Yeah. For a good bit of money. Do you remember? The Taz? Taz? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask you. I was like, did we sell the Taz? I'm sure we did because oh, I haven't all, seen it in a while. It sold almost <laughs> immediately, which is kind of a bummer. It'd be cool to put all those together. Uh, I might actually even hold on to that and see if we don't come across some more sometime soon. But comment below. Let us know what your favorite thing today was. Maybe somebody. A lot, a lot of you guys actually like some of this McDonald's toy stuff. I know I'm into it. Especially the nostalgia stuff. So let us know. And also before we go, uh, do me a couple favors. Consider uh, supporting this channel further by clicking the join button below these videos. Uh, and if the button for some reason doesn't pop up down there, there is a link below. Consider joining uh also before we go check out our merch store tennis trash.com and uh, probably most importantly 
consider joining our Discord. Come over there today and chat and let me know if you know if you've ever sold or collected or anything like that with these. I'm uh, just interested in having a community discussion about some of these little... And you know what? Honestly, it doesn't even have to be... What is that? It, it's stuck to okay. the magnet. <laughs> it was just a keychain stuck to it. I was like... I thought that was some morbid stuff. Yeah, I, thought it, there, I thought there was definitely something weird going on. I was going to have to blur it out. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of little nonsense like this. Little toy nonsense popular these days and if you walk through any antique mall like ours you'll see there's some there'll be 10 things in those boots that you don't know anything about so if you've got any toy stuff like this you deal with collect anything like that be sure to come over to our discord today and show us some pictures because you can't post pictures in the youtube comments right you can't do it uh but that's pretty much it uh, hit the subs that's not it because you gotta hit the subscribe button yes help us get to 10,000 subs before the year's over we're uh, creeping up and up and up, and we'd appreciate it if you've been watching for a little while and you haven't hit that button yet. We'd appreciate it if you'd hit it right now. Right now. But we do post daily videos here on this channel, so make sure you come back tomorrow and check out what we're doing then. And until then, guys, peace out.